Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Cbit and today we're going to be doing a video on the Wave Scanner. Yes, I've been looking forward to doing this video for quite some time. I've been wanting to get one of these for a while, but unfortunately they're getting kind of hard to find. A couple of years ago you used to be able to snag these from Yahoo Shopping or uh, Amazon Japan for as cheap as 1,000 yen. But those are the good old days that have now since dried up. Finding Star Force product is getting harder and harder to do. Uh, I found this example on Mercari. It cost me 4,100 yen, so a total of $50 or so, around that sort of margin. Again, I'm from the UK, so for me it was more like, I think it was £37. Not too bad a price for a complete inbox example of obviously the best satellite admin, the Leo version. Um, that's just my opinion. I'm, I'm a Leo guy. So, yeah. Um, what is the wave scanner? Well, think of the wave scanner as sort of like um, the battleship gate. So, here's the battleship gate for Mega Man Battle Number 6. This allows you to use physical battleships and then actually have them show up in your copy of Battle Number 6. This is the same deal, but using the wave battle cards from Mega Man Star Force. Uh, a couple things I have to say right off the bat. This device only works on the DS original, the DS Lite, and the DSi. It does not work on any other device, so um, please bear that in mind. This doesn't work on the 3DS. I don't think this works on a DSi XL, but I can't confirm that. I've never had a DSi XL, so I'm not sure. Um, this device comes in three versions, which we can see on the side here. The Pegasus version, the Leo version, and the Dragon version. Each version comes with different cards. Um, and also will make you that, will give you the ability to permanently become the Star Force of that version while the wave scanner is connected. So this is the Leo version, so this will allow me to be permanently Fire Leo. So, yeah. However, the device has some pretty good standalone features, so it doesn't necessarily need you to have a wave scanner to use. I mean, doesn't necessarily need you to have a DS and the copy of the game to use. And one other thing I will say right off the bat, this doesn't work on the US or European versions. It only works on the Japanese copies of Star Force 1. But luckily, those are so cheap on Japanese auction sites that really isn't much of a big deal. I got my copy of Leo for 300 yen, about $3 for a uh, copy of Star Force Leo, um, which we will get to in a second. Um, so let's look at the box first of all. So as you can see on the box, we've got the Nintendo DS logo, it shows off the scanner front and center, it shows off some of the scanning functionality and the connection to the DS, and the headphones, which we'll get to. On the side here, some of the features of the device, so the headphones, the scanning functionality, how loud the headphones are. On the back, it shows some more things like how it has a first person dungeon crawling mode connect the transit to it and then connect this to the DS to literally power up your in-game Star Force uh, 1 Mega Man. Use it to swipe cards in-game and power up cards too. We'll get to all the DS functionality in a bit though. And then on the side look at the three versions, the sort of devices it works for, as well as looking at some of the cards. You've got character cards, mega cards, standard cards, giga cards, it works with all of them. We will go over it all. So, let's get into this uh, box uh, with the beautiful Shooting Star Rockman on the top. If you are one of those people that likes to preserve the quality of a box, I will say these things are kind of a nightmare to get into, so here is my tutorial on how to get into them. Cut this side here with a, with a Stanley knife, cut this side here with a Stanley knife, cut the back like that, gently cut the sides, gently cut the back, and then lift from the side and it should open. One thing I will say is obviously this looks like kind of a mess. I have opened this before just to verify it worked and stuff because very occasionally there are, there have been circumstances I've seen where people have got these brand new in box and they just don't work out the box. So if you are going to get one of these, please make look into the seller or make sure that there is, look into the return policy before you buy one just in case it doesn't work. Because uh, yeah, you could be wasting a lot of money if these don't work. Um, and it's usually the, the thing that doesn't work is the scanning functionality, which is kind of, you know, important. So let's get this thing out uh, of the box. There we are. That came out quite nicely. I'll fold the box down gently and put that to the side. So what do you get with the wave scanner? You get two battle cards. Again, this isn't how it would originally come. I had to open this to check everything worked. 
So we have Time Bomb 1 and Long Sword. That's what the Leo scanner comes with. The Dragon scanner comes with Jumbo Hammer 1 and Plasma Gun. And the Pegasus scanner comes with Gatling 1 and Wide Wave 1. There's also a DX scanner, which is blue. It has Mega Man and Omega Zis on it. And it also comes with an actual like pair of glasses visualizer, which is awesome. And it comes with the cards Air Spread, Cancer Bubble, Crown Thunder, uh, is it regular Crown Thunder? I forget. And Freeze Knuckle. Uh, the DX scanner is even harder to find than normal scanners are though, so yeah, good luck trying to find that. This is like, here we have the instruction booklet, uh, not booklet, this thing is freaking, it's like a road map. This thing is massive. Look at, look at all these, look at all these words. Just insane, just insane how much they have to tell you about this thing. And I mean, it is sort of deserved. It is sort of, it's not like they're telling you everything for no reason though. There's quite a lot to this device. It's like a battleship gate that has like actual functionality built in. So it's pretty freaking cool. So here's the device itself. Really cool. Um, it's got a sort of like turny click wheel sort of thing. Kind of like an iPod, but not really. Got an okay and a cancel button. Um, a stabilizer, which we'll get to. Um, we'll get to the device in a second, but yeah, it's really cool. And then the world's crappiest pair of headphones. If I was Dank Pods, I would get the freaking Mojo out or whatever and be like, play Scarlet Fire in it. They're just garbage. But unfortunately, they're kind of needed because this thing has a headphone jack and the only way you're getting sound out of it is with the headphones. So I'm going to actually open these for the first time. Let's get these dirty buds. Oh, they are so cheap feeling. Oh, they are so cheap feeling. I mean, listen to this. Yeah, they're not very good. Uh, and yeah, the problem is with this device is that it plays sound into the headphones very loudly. So let's uh, untangle this pair of headphones. Let's plug that in. Is it making noise? Oh, it's making noise all right. Can I hold this up to the microphone? Can you hear this? Playing the Star Force name. I don't know. I don't actually know if you can hear that. Yeah, it's kind of hard to listen to. And then it enters like a sort of first person dungeon crawling sort of aesthetic. The interesting thing is it uses the headphones and it pitches the sound left or right to tell you where a virus is. It's actually playing an 8-bit version of... It's actually play, try, it actually tried to play an 8-bit version of uh, Wave Battle right on there. So as you can see, it's a Matena. Let's fight against the Matena using a card. Oh, wait, you have to wait for the gauge to rise, though, you I'm an idiot. Can, can we do it yet? There we, there we go. And it's been deleted. I don't really know what to say. It's kind of a weird device. Do you want to keep playing? No. Right. Um. Yeah. So it's got a sort of like first person dungeon crawling thing where you have to use the sound from the headphones to tell where the virus is. Beat the virus level up. That's sort of it. Eventually you'll find the boss. It's very similar to the um, Link PT's uh, challenge mode, which who knows, maybe I'll, I'll look at at some point. I haven't really looked at Mega, uh, Rockman XE stuff, but I might do. So yeah, there's that first person dungeon crawling mode. There's also this mini game where you get to shoot the buster ton of viruses. Like, 
As for what the point of this is, I couldn't tell you. You just shoot the buster at freaking viruses. Whatever. However, yeah, this thing has a lot of mini games. I'm not really interested in the mini games. What we're really interested in is this. DS mode. So, yeah. Now we're going to finally look at the DS functionality. So, the wave scanner, it's kind of cool. It's got a lot of mini games on it. You can power up, but what we're really interested in is using this thing with the Nintendo DS. So, uh, we are now going to... Uh, I'm going to pause real quick while I get the DS. Anyway, sorry, I had to move over because there's no way that you'll be able to see the DS with the light. So, um, here we have uh, the DS, uh, and I'll show you now. We already have a copy of Japanese Star Force Leo loaded in. So, how do you use the wave scanner? Well, first of all, we actually do need to turn off the system. Uh, basically, you've got a panel here that you remove, and inside will be a little cable. This cable has a sort of, um, focus on the cable please, it has a digital connection thing, as you can see here. That's what does all the work. Not uh, This is actually just for stabilization. So as long as the DS that you're having has this little port here, um, then it will work. So how we actually use the device. So you plug this in and then you tip the stabilizer, push it out and have it go into the DS. You don't have it fall. Yes cat, <laughs> you are now in a video. There we go. Oh, apologies there, I just had to let the cat out. Uh, yeah, but there you go. So the stabilizer should be firmly inside of the DS and you should have the cable connecting to the device like that. That's all you need to do. Once that's up, your wave scanner is all up and running. So then you just need to head to the last option, which is this option here. Press OK and it will say, you can kind of see it, DS. Um, then press OK and the wave scanner is now ready to go. So we can turn on the turn on the DS. And load up our copy of Star Force Leo. So, before we get into showing the functionality, I will need to show you the battle cards that I have to explain that there is slight differences to how some of them work. So we have our two standard cards here, Longsword and Time Bomb. Now, the scanner doesn't work exactly like the gate. It is a little bit different in that you scan a card in this, it doesn't just happen or show up on the custom screen. This allows you to, uh, standard cards let you power up a card that you already have on the custom screen. So, if you don't have that card in your folder, these aren't going to help you. But they do power it up by a considerable margin. Some of the power-up effects are kind of insane. Cards like Thunderball, for example, they get triple the amount of power. Cards like Recovery give you an invisibility, give you an invis effect for a certain amount of time. There's some seriously cool power-up effects. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of cards right now. I do have cards on the way. And uh, we are going to, every time I get new cards for a Star Force video, we will look at their effects in the wave scanner. I kind of just wanted to get this video for the wave scanner out though, so that you kind of know what it does before we start doing that every single time. So, uh, Longsword's power of effect, I believe, is just extra damage, and Time Bomb's power of effect, I believe, is also just extra damage. So, there's not a ton to it. And then, I also have these. We have the Dragon Sky EX, which I showed last week. We have Pegasus Magic GX and Leo Kingdom GX. I actually got these two from a friend uh, today. Actually, they came in the mail today from a friend. Um, thank you very much for selling me those cards. I really appreciate that. Uh, Megas and Gigas work sort of different in that you don't need to have the card on the bottom screen to power it up. They sort of allow you to replace a card on the bottom screen with a Mega or Giga. But we'll get into the battle. I'll show you exactly what I mean. Unfortunately, I don't have a Time Bomb 1 in this file, so I won't be able to show that off. 
But I do have a long sword, so I put that in the folder. Hopefully the long sword shows up. Okay. Saves the custom screen. And no long sword, that's fine. Um, so as you can see on the bottom screen here, we have um well just some cards. Uh, the way Megas and Gigas work, if you have a card that matches the attribute, you can use this card, you can use the Mega or Giga to replace it. So for example, we do have a wood card here. We have a Mopplants 1, which I can now use the Wave Scanner to replace it with a Dragon Sky EX. However, you need to make sure you've got your scanner set up first. So you will see this menu when you first do it. Um, this is card input. And this is power up. So once you've powered up in game, you go onto the mega screen, click OK on that, and power up. I'll sh I actually, no, we'll show that in a minute. So yeah, but the first of all, we want to go into card scan mode and then press OK. It will say that. And then it'll look like it's gone back to the main menu, but it actually hasn't. This is now allowing card scanning. So if we actually scan the card, so remember this way with the card artwork facing you. Isn't it magic? It, the card transforms into Dragon Sky EX, and we can now use that card. Sorry if I suck a little bit, I haven't played Star Force 1 in quite some time. And there we go. I just realized, why am I Pegasus? This is a Leo scanner. Why is it, why is that happening? I don't think that's meant to be happening. I don't I don't know why that's happening. You are supposed to be the uh the one that you use. Is that because I'm playing Leo? I don't that seems weird. Why is that happening? I don't know why that's happening. Um I have no idea why that's happening. Um Let me try. Once it's connected, you can disconnect it again. I don't really know why it's doing that. This I'm wondering if the, there's been an er error in the factory, and this is how now this now has like the Pegasus version or whatever on in it. Hang on, let me get this reinserted again. Yes, Mega Man. Shush. I know I pressed the L button there. Isn't it? There we go. It's in. Again, I really don't know why that's happening. Anyway, we're gonna get into another battle, see if I can get Longsword. If I don't, then I'm just gonna pause until Longsword comes up so I can show you what it does. No Longsword, and honestly, nothing helpful, so I'm gonna pause. Okay, no Longsword, but I can at least show Pegasus Magic GX off here. So, let's do that. Cool thing is that if a card's already a white card, it actually says a white card, so you know, just two keys in one turn, why not? Not that it matters, because Pegasus is gonna absolutely wreck these fools. I'm still Pegasus, I don't know why that's happening. Um I'll have to look into that later. I'll see if I can get it fixed for the next video. Anyway, I'm trying to get long sword, so pause until I get it. Okay, phew, that took way longer to work than it should have. And no, I didn't actually fix the issue. I'm still showing it was Pegasus. I just had to use the Star Force card to go Leo to get it out of my folder to get Longsword to show up. I am i don't know why that's happening. I'm going to look into that. But now I've actually got uh, the Longsword there on the custom screen. Power up Longsword to do 160. It doubles the damage it does, which is freaking sweet. Now we can use that card. Oh, we can get Thunderbolt because I'm freaking terrible at the game. Yeah, that's basically the scanner though. Um, yeah, so that's the scanner. I um, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, there's not really much more to say about it. Um, in later videos, we will go over more of its power-up effects and things like that. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this little look at the wave scanner. Oh, actually, wait, no, we have one more thing I said I was going to show off which is the power-up effect. So if you come to this, click power up, go onto the Mega Man screen, you have to be on the screen and then click yes. It will send up the power-up data, show up on the top, and there we go, I got plus 10 HP. Wow, what a freaking power-up, because I'm at level one. But yeah, there you go, power is now on.
I'm a little bit stronger. Yeah, just, just showing you how that works. So yeah, now I can say thanks for watching guys. Uh, and I'll see you on the next video. Um, we'll be looking at hopefully more Mega Man Star Plus 1 cards. So until then, peace out guys. Goodbye.